Hello to all you good people out there and welcome back to another video where I am just going to waffle on about why I became an art YouTuber. Before I bore you with that, um, I just want to say, oh my god, I am so thankful um, to have everyone, you know, viewing one of my videos. I've, this is my first video. It's the Oogie Boogie Cuddle Cushion um video that i made ages ago and it's finally gotten over a thousand views and you know that i'm stoked about that that's awesome i i honestly didn't think that that particular video would ever be the one that would be first over the line of a thousand views but hey <laughs> i'll take anything <laughs> um but um yeah this video was actually supposed to be like my scroller box video, but um, <laughs> once again, everyone else has received their scroller boxes except for me. I'm still waiting over here. Scroller box, can you please get your shit together and send them, you know, send them quicker to me. Like, you know, this, this, is, this is crazy. I, I know I live in regional Queensland, but this is still crazy. Anyway, enough of my first world problems. I am pretty much just going to waffle on today about why I became a, a art YouTuber because I don't think I have, uh, from memory, I don't think I have talked about that so I want to talk a little bit about why I actually decided to get into making videos of my art. Um, yeah, I've, I'm not doing anything live at the moment like with my videos, um, not live but um, you know, as I'm doing it, I'm talking, I'm just sort of doing a voiceover of, of um, a pre-recorded video because I've just been way too busy this week and I've been doing, you know, adult things and, um, you know, just dealing with my health and just appointments with, um, you know, just getting my cars, you know, my cars serviced and just other things that, you know, adults have to deal with so um that's pretty much what i'm what's going on right now so that's why i'm back to doing you know voiceovers of my videos which you know i don't mind doing but i actually prefer to talk as i'm doing the video itself anyway let's move on um yeah i this this picture first of all is a mr revenge inspired um, illustration because I just love the dude he is amazing he is my favorite artist and um, yeah I just I just love his work and when I found his illustrations I just I lost my shit because I'm not saying that I look my drawings look exactly like he's like we got the same style but there is just elements in my drawings that I f sort of see similarities in his so when I found when I found him I just went oh my god I just just love his work and um, this is this is a very similar um, picture to what he has and I just wanted to recreate it because I really 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 liked it and I just sort of wanted to do my own take on one of Mr. Revenge's illustrations and um, yeah because he's just amazing like I just you know I am not worthy I am not worthy you know do a Wayne's World we are not worthy if I ever met him in real life um, because the guy is just a legend and I just love his work completely just love it love it love it love it love it love it anyway once again let's move on to the real reason why i made this video okay not number one on the reasons why i became an art youtuber um is because i love making videos i um i really 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 enjoyed making videos and i did film and television when i was at school with the pursuit in like with with the idea that i was actually going to pursue a filmmaking career which never happened until now um, but so and so filmmaker but um, yeah it, it sort of I sort of really enjoyed the process of of making 
you know making my own videos and um, it's just it's just another creative outlet that I wanted and it's just amazing I just I just love it and, and it really 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 um, yeah it really satisfies me when I complete a video and then I move on to the next one and I'm trying to work out different shots and I'm trying to work out what am I going to do different because you know I'm trying to evolve and do different things now that I've got sort of like a handle on um, how a lot of this works um, and it's just yeah I just love that process it's just it's just really 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 fun to do really um, and the second reason um, is I I like to make people laugh and I like to make myself laugh and while I'm like sometimes like like yeah I, I do think I, I can be funny and I am probably a lot funnier um, off camera because um, I don't know sometimes when I get in front of like when I talk and I'm doing the videos I sort of get a little bit lost and like my train of thought sort of goes out the window a little bit and I don't think of everything that I should be thinking of but like when I'm in person like when you see like meet me in person like I, I tend to be a bit more wittier and I do and a, a lot of people have always said to me throughout the years like you're really funny and I'm like yeah yeah I know I make myself laugh <laughs> I know I always make myself laugh and I do make my family members laugh but I always thought that they might have just been humoring me but yeah I have had a lot of people tell me that I am quite funny so yeah I like to um, add funny elements into my videos and just funny dry sort of sense of humor that I do have um, into my into my videos now that I'm a little bit more comfortable uh, I'm not 100% there but now that I'm a little bit more comfortable with videos um, my, my wit is sort of coming into it a little bit more and I you know I only assume that as I do grow and evolve that my wit will hopefully get even better and it will come through more how it is when I'm in real life because to, to be completely honest with you in real life I'm hardly ever serious I'm always in this stupid mode and um, I do sort of dull that down a bit for videos because you know people would probably think well this this chick's a little bit weird um, so yeah I try to sort of give a little bit of a washed out more version of of myself in the videos but the point is <laughs> point was and is that yeah I love to laugh at myself and I just love to laugh in general and I like to make people laugh I like to be a bit of an entertainer I suppose you could say um, which is yeah it, it, it keeps life interesting now the third reason why I like to uh, you know the, the third reason why I became an art tuber is because um, I I have really noticed that there's a sense of community um, and you sort of feel like you're part of something and and um, as I'm starting to like grow some friends on this platform of YouTube I'm just you know I just feel like I'm part of something and I'm slowly you know f just slowly feeling a part of something is pretty much what I'm trying to say and um, it's it makes me happy to, to feel that way and I've never really felt a part of a community before online until I jumped on YouTube and um, yeah it's just it's just I don't know it's all warm and fuzzy it makes me feel warm and fuzzy inside so um, I do know that um, there's gonna be a time in the future where you know not everything's gonna be smooth sailing which sort of you know leads me to the fourth reason is you know everybody's lovely everyone's absolutely lovely to me on this and you know getting back to you know there's going to be a time in the future where you're going to start getting some of the you know the, the dead shits and the drop kicks that are going to be trolling you and they're going to be sending you you know pretty pretty bullshit messages and you know up until that time comes and I'm fully mentally prepared for that to happen um, because every you know every large youtuber or every youtuber you know goes through that um, you know I am prepared for that when I do start to take off and grow my channel so um, you know no biggie you know I've got broad shoulders I'll take it and I'll ignore I'll ignore it because you know those people are just trolling and just 
you know, they're just dickheads. They're just horrible people who want a reaction out of you. Well, guess what? You ain't going to get a reaction out of me because I don't care. I don't care. You can bring your crap. You can bring your shit. I ain't going to care. Yeah, I think that's the main reasons. Like, I'm just referring to my notes now. You know, I just, once again, gone blank. I really don't know what else to say but they're the main reasons like when I think of others in the future I'll, I'll just include them in other videos you know like as I'm going but um, yes back to the the picture the, the illustration that I have done um, yeah there's a there's a few things that I'm not happy with which is what I say about everything it's just a standard um, but yeah no I, overall I do like this picture and um, I like I like the fact that um, I didn't do because I, I like to not do bottom jaws on a lot of my monsters because it just adds a bit more of a scary element to them and um, yeah the fact that she's all you know just leaking blood from her top jaw like she's just been devouring you know other monsters or she's been devouring something um, yeah it's it's um this is what I like to do and I think I think what I liked most about this picture is um it went when it it was the next day not in this um particular yeah, not not in this setting but the next day I liked the way the face came out with the brown speckles on the face so it really really looked like um a monster and it, yeah I was impressed with that side of thing that's my favorite part of it um but yeah the white gel pen I've just I need to ease up on that I really need to just you know less is more and yeah not get so carried away because I just get I get too carried away and I was not a big fan of how I did the hair the hair really sort of disappointed me that's probably the most disappointing part of the whole picture really is is the hair and I wouldn't I wasn't a big fan of the way I did do a bit of a white highlight through the blood that was a bit silly of me but hey um, I'm still learning and I still still making mistakes I'm still trying to grow you know don't judge me I, I, I hear your judging eyes <laughs> um, but yeah anyway like yeah once again um, Mr. Revenge inspired peace because the dude is a legend you are a legend Ricky Romero you rock you're the best <laughs> You're my inspiration. <laughs> so, um, yeah, there we go. That is the final piece right there. Um, yeah, it's it's. I don't mind it. I really like the dress part. That was that was the um, another part I really liked about it was the dress. So, um, yeah, that's it from me. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.